Hey, it's Ula again. We're gonna continue our weighted yoga workouts. Today we're gonna work out uh, work more with the balance exercises as well as combination of upper and lower body exercises. So let's get started right away with a warm up and then right into our sequences. Stepping your feet a little bit further towards the edges of the mat, your knees and toes pointing same direction. And now reaching your arms up, inhale, exhale as you bring your hands heart centered. Opening your arms, palms facing forward, retracting your shoulder blades down. And from here, to sweep your arm through and across. Making sure your knee does not go past your toes. Keeping your shoulders away from your ears. And we're gonna do four more here. That's four. This is our active warm up. Last two. And the last one. Relax your arm and I'll reach your left arm up and sweep it back. Left arm reach and sweep. Bring that arm right into the same line as your ear. And we're gonna bring four more, do four more here. And three. Active lengthening along the side of the body. And the last one. Arms back centered, breath in, inhale. Exhale, hands heart centered. Opening arms, exhale and release. Reach it up, inhale. Exhale, release, pushing your glutes way back, body weight to your heels. Again, creating some heat through the body first. Four more. And three. Last two. And the last one. Holding your arms, shoulder height. And now bring your right arm across the chest and back. Again, keep making sure that your knees do not go past the toes. Relax your shoulders. Last four. And three. Two more. Release your left. And sweep up your right arm. Reach up, inhale and exhale. Bring that hand right by the heel. And we have four more go to go here. And three, last two, and the last one. Open the arms, hands heart centered. As you exhale, reach, exhale and release. Inhale, sweep up, and again. Wide squat, body weight back to the heels. Last four, and three, last two, and the last one. This time bring your hands to your hips, supporting your lower back. Take it into a squat, pull the belly button in and roll your spine slowly up. One vertebrae at a time, shoulders down and back. And again, glutes going way back. Pull the belly button in. Build your spine, release shoulders back. Two more. Again, roll up. And back, one more time. Roll up, shoulders down, and bring your arms in. Inhale, exhale, hands heart centered. Rotating, and bring your foot back in. Feet hip width apart. Crossing your hands, index fingers. Reaching up, lift and lengthen. Lock your upper arms to your ears. You can stay, you exhale into your half moon back. You can always bring your hands to the small of the back. Again, back centered, opening the arms. Take it into the half squat. Level one, remember? Higher a number, more challenging. Level two. Your ribs resting on your quadriceps, looking straight ahead. Exhale as you push your glutes back to the level three. Bring your hands all the way down. Inhale into the half forward back bend. You can stay here, your spine perfectly straight, or exhale into the full forward bend. Relax your neck. Active. Lengthening on the backs of the legs. Your hamstrings. And release, inhale. 
exhale, half forward bend. Repeat back into the full forward bend. Bring your forehead a little bit closer, one last time. From here, bend your knees, look towards the edge of the mat, and step your right leg back, pushing your right heel. Your left knee and heel in the same line. Looking ahead, your arms hover. Lift up and open into the strong forward warrior. Feeling your right hip flexor. Breathe in and out through your nose. Bring your hands heart centered. You can stay or challenge your balance right away by bringing your hands together and look up towards your fingertips as your hips are sinking further, a little bit lower. Bring your hands heart centered. Rotation, right toes slightly out. Opening arms, exhale as you're looking past your left fingertips. From here, slide your right hand along the leg, lift your left fingertips up. Stay or level two, backward warrior. Your hips are going a little bit further forward. More challenge, bring your knuckles against the back, towards your back pocket. And then bring that left and lower arm, right on the cordyceps, rotating your chest forward. More challenge, lift that right arm up into the same line as your ear. More challenge, contract through your core, extend, keep your strong core. And level three, palms facing together, stabilizing through that left hamstring. And from here, going right into the extended angle pose. You can look up towards your right fingertips or you can look straight ahead. You have a straight line from the top of the head all the way to the right heel. You can stay or cross your hands back. Rotate your shoulder blades, opening the chest. And the option is to bring your left shoulder right against the left knee. Lifting your arms further up and higher. Listen to your body at all times. Nothing should ever hurt. And release back centered. Bring your hands right by your left foot. Bring your left leg back, going to your first strong plank. You can always go on your knees if you want. Heels of the hands in the same line to your shoulders. Exhale into the downward dog. Listen to your breath in and out through your nose, your ears in the same line as your upper arms. Each fingertip pressing onto the mat, cupping the palms of your hands, lengthen through the spine. Our first active range of motion, plank, and then a dip six times, or you can just hold the plank. You have three more. Making sure your arms, upper arms come right by the ribs. Exhale into the downward dog. If you don't like to go into your stomach, go into the child's pose or on all fours. Those who want, plank and lower gently, chest down, hips fall. Lifting your head up only, hands under your shoulders or full extension into the upward dog. Shoulders away from your ears. Knees go back, pushing into the child's pose. Pressing the palms, lengthening under your arms. Look up ahead, again rolling the toes under, come to the strong plank. Again pushing the glutes back, and got back centered, strong plank. No sway on the spine. This is your active child's pose, working through your core and your shoulders. Breathing through. We have four more. And three more. Last two. And the last one. This time, either walk or jump. Inhale, half forward bend. Exhale, full forward bend. You can roll up, hands by the hips, or reverse swan dive, straighten spine, your legs, arms, contract through your core. 
Forward breath in, inhale. Exhale, hands heart centered. Same sequence, other side. Crossing your hands, index fingers. Reach up, lift and lengthen. Squeeze your head in between your arms. Exhale into the half moon back. Again, option to have your hands in the small of the back, protecting your lower back. Come back centered. Open the arms. Half squat, level one. Pushing your body weight back to the heels. You should be able to lift your toes up. Level two, awkward pose. Ribs resting closer to your cordyceps. Your thumbs are pointing up, working through your shoulders. And your level three, tiny chair. Sit back, look ahead. Find the strength through the lower body. Breathe. Hands down. Inhale into the hand for half forward bend. Exhale, full forward bend. Relax your neck, top of the head, pointing down towards the mat. Bend in your knees. Step your left leg way back. Your right knee and heel in the same line. So always work with your pose. Looking up ahead, actively pushing the left heel, the left leg is straight. Arms hover and then lift up. Find the strength of your right hamstring and lower your hips. Open the arms into the strong forward warrior. Right knee and heel in the same line. Feel the left hip flexor. Stay hands heart centered or find your balance as you add a little bit of a back extension. Again, it should not hurt. Hands heart centered. Rotation, left toes slightly out, right toes pointing straight forward. Open the arms. Exhale as you look past your right fingertips, your right knee and heel in the same line. Slide your left hand along the leg, lift your right fingertips up. Option to stay or back extension. Allow hips to sink further forward. Your level three, knuckles against the back. And bring your left, right lower arm, right by the right cordyceps. Open the chest. From here, if you want to add, lengthen through the left side of the body, your palm facing down. Stabilize your core as you extend your right arm, level two, and your level three. Keeping your shoulders stacked. Extend it. Animal pose, pushing your right elbow against the knee. You can look ahead or look up. Allow your hips sink. Your both feet grounded. Bring your left knuckles against the back. And then crossing your hands back. Rotate the shoulder blades and lift. You can stay. Or bring your right shoulder against the left right knee. And keep lifting your arms actively up. Opening the chest, working through your shoulders. Right hamstring. And release. Rotation, your hands right by your right foot. Bring your right leg back. Heels of the hands, same line as your shoulders. Strong plank. Exhale, downward dog. Readjust, realign, any time. Coming back to the plank, you can stay for six times. Dip, half a chaturanga. Three more. Two, and the last one. Exhale, downward dog. Again, if you don't want to go onto your back, go back to the child's pose or on all fours. Come to the plank, chaturanga. Lower chest, hold and hover, and then down. Head up only, or exhale into the upward dog, shoulders away from your ears. Feel the lengthening in front of the body. Knees go down, extend and exhale back. Feel a stretch under your arms. Coming back to the plank as you look at the edge of the mat. Roll the toes under, active child's pose. Working through your core, shoulders, no sway on your spine. Look at your alignment. Your head is higher than your heart. Last four. Last three. 
last two, last active, and this time, walk or jump, inhale, half forward bend, exhale, full forward bend, coming up, open arms, reverse swan dive, reaching up, inhale, exhale, hands heart center, crossing your hands, index fingers, lift the neck, pyramid, step in your right leg, further back, from a hip down, it's a shape of a pyramid, you can always have your hands by the hips if you want, hinging forward, try to keep your ears and upper arms in the same line, if necessary, bend your left knee, working through your shoulders, from here, bring your feet, index fingers pointing down and then hands released by your left foot. Relax your neck as you bring your forehead closer towards your left knee. Feel a lengthening on the back of the left leg. Bending your left knee. Step your right leg further. And here is our first. Using, bring your weights close to in. Keep your abs tight. Right heel pushing back. Pull, lifting your, your weights up. Squeeze those shoulder blades. And now pull the shoulder blades back and release. Looking ahead. We have four more. Three more. Last two. Now you can stay with this or combination. Rhomboid tricep. Tricep kick back. Reach. Tricep kick back. Exhale as you kick back. Again, looking ahead. You're doing 12 of these today. You have done eight. You should feel a left hamstring. You have four more. Try not to lock your arms as you reach. Last two, last one, lower your weights back down, hands by your left foot, bring your right foot in, inhale, half forward bend, exhale, full forward bend, coming up, reverse swan dive, strong core, hold your breath in. Exhale, hands, heart center, and you're repeating again. Crossing your hands, index fingers. Lift and lock. This time, step your left leg back. Pyramid. Squeeze your head in between the arms. Hinge forward. Your heart rate is up. If necessary, bend your right knee. Your spine perfectly straight. Bring your hands down by your right foot. Then exhale as you bring your forehead closer towards your right knee. Feel the length in the back of your right leg, hamstring. Lift your head up. Step your left leg back. Roll those toes under. Allow your hips sink. Keep your core tight as you lift your weights, squeeze the shoulder blades back, readjust, realign, again, wrong points, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, you can continue, or combination, wrong point, tricep kick back, relax your grip, again, 12 of these. Keep looking ahead. You're also working through your right hamstring here. You've done four. Your ribs come closer to the right quadricep. Keep the strong form. We have four more to go. That is four. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. Three. Last two. And the last one. 
in, centered, lower your weights, in control. Bring the left foot back. Inhale, half forward bend. Exhale into the full forward bend. And coming back up, swan dive. Forward breath in, inhale. Exhale, hands heart centered. Listen to your heart, listen to your breath. Start with a balance. Open the arms. Bring your right hand heart centered. Your left piece fingers. Contract your right quadricep. Firm grip, find it. Extend your left leg. Find your focus. Your ears, shoulders, hips in the same line. Open your right arm. You can stop at any level you want. If you're comfortable, bring the left leg up. It's not easy. That balance changes from day to day. Keep your right foot firmly rooted. Bring the left leg back. Right arm. Reach and lock. Feel that left quadricep. Find your balance as you change into the warrior three, T-pose, contracting your right quadricep, right foot rooted. Find your focus. You have a straight line from the index fingers all the way to your left toes. Bring your hands all the way down, right under your shoulders. Left hand, fully rooted. Turn and look to your right. If you want, open your right arm, half moon. Keeping your focus. Bring your right hand down, right under the shoulder. Turn and look to your left. And then open your left arm. It's all about a balance. Not easy. You're here to practice. Bring your left hand down. I almost lost my balance. <laughs> You can stay or walk your hands close to your right foot and feel your left right hamstring as you bring your forehead closer into the standing split. You can hold behind your right calf, lifting your head up, bending your right knee, readjust, taking your weights. Our first set of high lunge with your bicep curls. Lift, low curls, palms facing up. 12, looking ahead. We have eight more to go. Eight, seven, six, light triple. Come up, back up. Shoulder blades down and back. Dip, four, 12. Ear, shoulders, hips in the same line. We have eight more. Elbows are slightly bent. We have six more. Right knee does not go past the toes. We have four more. Hang in there. Three, two, and the last one. Come back up. Bring that left foot a little closer. Bringing arms closer, upper arms closer to your body. Combination. Kick back, step back, curl, narrow overhead press. And again, kick back, in, lift. This is combination, tricep, shoulders, biceps, balance, quadricep, glutes, Hamstrings. Kick back. In. Lift the knee to the hip level. Keep your focus. Four more. We try to do 12 repetitions. You do them as many as you feel comfortable for you. Last two. And one more to go. Hang in there. Exhale back and lift. Hold. Arms. Still, your right leg is working. Stabilize it. 
bring the left leg back, modify deadlift, elbow slightly bent, spine straight, tilt, and come back up. Again, 12, and lift. As you notice, your heart rate is up, breathing a little heavier. Eight more, and seven. Elbows are slightly bent. Try not to open up the wrong points. Muscles between the shoulder blades. We have four more. That is four, and three. It stays upon the heart or same line. Give a tilt. Last one. Look in and out. Shoulders down and back. Lower your legs. Coming back up. Inhale. Hands heart centered. And exhale. Listen to your breath. Working through your lower body, open the arms. Take it into a tiny squat. Take your weights one more time. Your heart rate has settled. Come up, bring your weights right to your shoulders. Elbows pointing forward. Feet hip width apart. Squat, elbows come closer to the knees, if not touching the knees. You've got 12 of these. If your heart rate wasn't up, it's gonna go up now. Again, lift. You have eight more, eight. You decide how deep of a squat you want to do. Hang in there. Four more to go. That's four. You don't even need to use weights if you don't want to. Last two. And the last one. Lift. Bend the knees. Lower, gently. Inhale, half forward bend. Keep your head above the heart here. If your heart rate's heart rate is settled, exhale. Full forward bend. And reverse one time. Coming back up. Inhale. And exhale. Oh, can we do it again? Other side. Same sequence. Listen to your breath. Stand with the balance revolving dancer. Bring your left hand heart centered, your right peace fingers. Firm grip, left leg, steady. Push the right heel. From here, open the left arm if you want. Keep your focus. Add by opening your right leg to the side. Bring your right leg back. Left arm, try to keep your right leg up. Reach and lock. Transition to warrior. Extend. Squeeze your glutes. Upper arms to your ears. Hinging forward, find focus point. Stay strong, breathe through your, breathing in and out through your nose. From here, hands go all the way down. Heels of the hands right on the shoulders, your right hand rooted. Turn and look to your left, then open your left arm. Half move. Bring your left hand down, left hand rooted. Turn to your right. A little bit more challenging when the opposite arm and leg. Stay steady. Back centered. Stay or walk your hands close to the left. Exhale as you bring your forehead towards your left knee. Lift your right leg up higher. Firm grip. Standing split. And release. Bring your right leg back down. Roll those to, roll to toes under, pushing the heel back. Left knee and heel in the same line. Your bicep curls here, contract the abs. Look ahead. Open chest, 12, light grip. You have eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Adjust and dip for 12. Your feet hip width apart, keeping still that balance. Left knee does not go past the toes. You have eight and seven. You're working through the large muscle groups. Lower body, heart rate is up. Four more. And three. Last two. Feel that left hamstring and a glute. Last one, I believe. Bring that right foot in. Left leg rooted. Arms. Upper arms closer. Combination. Right leg goes back. Find your balance here. Come up. Stay. Or overhead. Kick back. In. Exhale, press. Strong effort here. Like I said, we are multi -passing. Breathe through. Kick back. Eight more to go. Eight. Exhale, press. You don't have to lift the knee up. It's all up to you. Six more. Keep that balance. Struggling your mind a bit. That's okay. Last four. Four. Kick back. Last three. Keeping that left leg strong and steady. That is your pillar. Last two. Up. Last one. Whew. Nice work. Lift. Left leg. Still your pillar. Modified deadlift. Bring that left leg, right leg slightly back. Elbows bent. Tilt. Come back up. And again. Try to bring your body more parallel. Twelve. You've done four. Eight more to go. Feel that left hamstring and the glute. Breathe. Core is tight. Last four. Last three. Last two. And the last one here. And release. Bend the knees. It's down. Inhale. Reverse swan dive. Exhale. Hands heart center. Listen to your heart. Listen to your breath. Open the arms. Bend the knees. Contract your core. Lift the weights. Come up, elbows pointing forward, 12 squats, narrow squats, again. If you can bring those elbows a little closer to the knees, great. If not, that's okay. You have eight and seven. Body weight is back on the heels. Six. Keep going. Last four, last three, last two, and the last one. And in, legs down, bend the knees. Inhale, half forward bend. If you want, stay or exhale. If you feel your heart rate is too high, keep your head at the level of your heart. Reverse one time. Coming back up. Inhale. Exhale, hands, heart centered. Great work, you guys. One more set of balancing poses. Reaching up, inhale. Exhale as you bring your right palm up. Firm grip on your right foot. Your left foot fully rooted. Start hinging forward. Looking past your left fingertips. And then start pushing. 
your right foot against your right hand, keeping your left foot strong and steady. That is your pillar, your left leg. Reach, push, coming back centered. Bring your right leg back into the tree pose or right by the hip. Hands heart centered. You can stay or if you feel comfortable with a folding tree, let it go. Hands fully on the mat. Bring your forehead closer. Feeling it through your right glute. Relax the top of the head towards the mat. Bending the left knee. Bring your right foot back down. Roll up slowly, taking your time. Follow the breath in. Inhale. Exhale, hands heart centered. Repeat left leg, reaching up. Bring your right arm up, left palm. Firm grip left foot, hinging forward, looking past your right fingertips, your right foot fully rooted, start pushing your left foot against your left hand, look past your right fingertips, breathing steadiness, coming back up, three pose, left foot, Right up to the hip if you want. Left hand, heart centered. Stay or hinge. Holding down. Bring your forehead closer towards your knee. Relax. Top of the head, pointing down. Lifting your head up, bend with your right knee. Bring your left foot back down. Inhale, roll up. Shoulders down and back. Follow the breath in, inhale. Exhale, hands heart centered. Picking up your weights. I'm going to turn around, facing towards you. Feet. Knees, those hips point in the same direction. Breath in, inhale. Exhale, hands heart centered. Let's start with the feet closer together. Picking up the weights. Looking straight ahead as you lift up instead of rounding your back. Step your leg out. Wide squat for eight and seven. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is a lower upper body. Work out. Four more. You're looking ahead, pushing your weight back to the heels. Last two. Last one. Come back centered. Hammer curls for eight. One weight or both at the same time. Up to you. Knees are soft. We have four more. Again, hard really staying up here. Three. Two. And the last one, step your other leg back into a wide squat for eight and seven. Making sure your knees do not go past the toes. You have four more to go. Are your elbows slightly bent? Three more. Last two. And the last one. Bring that foot in, hammer curls for eight and seven. Try not to swing your legs, control both ways. We have four more, and three, two more, and the last one, one more time, eight, seven, you don't have to do all the repetitions, you can cut it in half, any time, last four, and three, you should be sweating by now, two, last one, foot in, for eight, Seven, six, last four, three, you should start to feel those biceps, two, and one, step, last time, eight, keep going, 
This is your last set of the wide squat. You have four more. Squeeze the glutes as you come up here. Two more, squeeze. Last two. Last one. Last time the curls for eight. One arm at a time. Always a good option. Again. Last four. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. And the last one. Lower. And release. Bend the knees. Bring your weights right beside you. Inhale up. Exhale, hands are centered. Do a standing mountain pose. Opening the arms. Swan dive. Bring your hands by the feet, bend the knees. You can bring one leg at a time back into the plank or hands rooted and jump. Heels of the hands, same line as your shoulders, your head higher than your heart. Come to the downward dog. Listen to your breath. You can stay longer here if you want. Active range of motion. Three legged dog. Pull the right knee in. Look ahead and hover. Extend back. And again. Up. 12 of these. You have eight more to go. That's eight. And seven. Six. Five. Working through the shoulders and your core, triceps. Last three. Two. Last one. This time, hold and hover, looking ahead towards the edge of the mat. Breathe. Stay open your forehead towards the knee. And then cross your right lower leg across the mat as you would go your left toes further. Pigeon pose. You can stay right here. Or start walking your hands further forward. And from here, you can stay. Or slide your left hand hand through and under as you lower your left side, your side of your head, and look under your right. Feeling it through your right glute. The right foot firmly on the mat or down. Exhale and release. Slide your right hand through and under. This time look under your left armpit. Enjoy the moment. Stretching through the right glute. Back centered, hands right under your shoulders. Anybody else ready? That's a hard workout. Roll your left toes under. Strong plank. Exhale into the downward dog. Lifting your left leg up this time. Point and extend. Same as the other side. 12 times. Tuck. Extend. Pull. Extend. Looking towards the edge of the mat. Right here. Last eight, seven. Take a look at your four. Five more to go. Last three, last two, last active. Lift and now hold and hover. Three legged plank. Forehead to knee. Glutes go up. Then cross your left lower leg. Walk your right leg further back. You can stay or start walking your hands further forward. Bring your right arm through and under your left armpit and lower your head down. Work with the pose. Feel a stretch through your shoulders now. That's your left glute. 
back centered, switch, right arm goes, left arm goes right under, look under your right arm, relax into that stretch, breathing in and out through your nose. Back centered. Switching your body weight to your left glute. Bring your feet to the front. A little bit more left to go, working through your core here. Bring your legs a little bit closer. Ear shoulders in the same line. Walk your feet so that your heels are on the, on the floor, but not the whole foot. You don't you need to use a weight if you don't want. If you do, they stay away from your chest. The tip, tip of the shoulder plates, touch the mat, chin tucked in. Come all the way up and into the straight spine. Lower. Exhale and lift. Weights never rest on your chest. Exhale and lift. Can you do 12 of these? We have eight more to go. If your heels come off from a mat, take a break. Seven more. Try to straighten your spine. All the way straight here. Head is not touching the mat. Last four. You're also using your biceps here. Last three. Last two. And last active. Hold. Bring your weights down. Spine straight instead of a C curve. Leaning back. If you feel comfortable, lift one leg and then the other leg. Option, both legs. Lift your chest up. Breathing strength through your core. And in there. And in. Walking your legs straight. Flex. Inhale into the seated forward bend. Hands can stay by the knees. Or again, those peace fingers wrap around. Looking ahead, breathe. Exhale. If you have any shoulder problems, stay here. Otherwise, you can do a reverse plank. Fingertips pointing to your glutes. Push the palms into the mat. Lift. Looking up ahead instead of hand, tilting your head back. Feel your triceps. You're working your glutes, muscles along the spine. Now dip for 12. Eight more to go. That is eight. Keep the shoulders away from your ears. Last four. That's four. Three. Two, lift and hold, lower, pointing your toes, inhale, exhale as you hinge forward, you can have your hands under your calves or bind on the sides of your feet, forehead, closer towards your knees, feel the stretch to the lower back, hamstrings if they're tight. And release, straight spine. Bring your knuckles in, your glutes closer. Bottoms of your feet together, release through your spine. And work your way into the butterfly pose. Working your lower arms down, feel the spine. Chin tucked in instead of tilting your head. If you want, stay here longer, listening to your breath. Butterfly pose is your recovery pose. Still going to work through our core a little bit more. Walking your feet closer. Feel your fingers touching the backs of the heels. Or if you want, want bind around your ankles. Push the palms down as you lift your hips up to the bridge. Feel the back of the head on the mat and your shoulder blades. Squeeze the glutes and lift. Lower your hips back down. Taking one weight only or no weight, cannonballs, pull the knees in, lift your arms, 
feeling your lats as your arms extend back. Pull and bring your leg closer to your shins. And then extend your legs if you want. Again. Extend. Exhale. Others, your back. There is no need to extend the legs. How about two sets of it? Almost done one set. We have eight more to go here. Keep a strong form for eight, seven, and six. Five, four more. Almost there. Three, two, and the last one. Bring your feet back down. Right hand, one leg. Feet can stay flat. Head slightly up and up from the mat. Reaching right arm towards your left foot and lower. Up and lower. Working through your obliques. Obviously, upper body, chest. Twelve of these. You have six more to go. Last six. Left shoulder plates stabilizes. Right shoulder plate comes right off from the mat. Last two. Exhale and lift. And the last one. Switch your arm. Careful when you change the hands. Again, lift. Left hand, right foot, and lower. Twelve. Reach up and across. Eight more to go. That is eight. And seven. Six more. Exhale and lift. Last four. Almost done with your core. Last two. And the last one. Lift and lower. Bring your weight gently down. Lower your head back, hug your knees in. Hold behind your calves or kiss fingers. Straighten your legs, lift your hamstring. Bring your forehead closer. Let go of your right spine pose. You can always keep your right leg on the mat. Feel the back of the leg. Crossing your left over your right. Open arms as you let your knees fall over to your right side. Hopefully your weights are not in the way. If you want to assist with your stretch, place your right hand on top of the left knee. Feel it in deep in the glutes. Left shoulder blade is on the mat. Exhale. Back centered. Hug the knees in. Hold behind the calves. Peace fingers. Straighten your legs. Forehead closer. This time, let go of your left spider pose. Feeling your right hamstring. You can always keep your left foot on the floor and hold behind your right knee. Crossing your right over your left. Hug it closer. Shoulder blades rooted. Palms down. Let your knees fall to your left side. If you want left hand, you can bring it on top of your right knee and gently press it down. Try to keep your right shoulder blade down. You feel the stretch through your pectoral as well. Exhale. Back centered. From here, rock forward and rock up to the seated. Sitting how it's comfortable. Knuckles down, tilt your spine, sit high up, 
away from the tailbone. Stretching for your pectoral, pectorals, yoga mudra. You can either cross your hands or hold opposite elbows, looking ahead. Inhale and exhale as you hinge forward. Bring your forehead closer towards your shins. Closing your eyes. Reflecting back to your workout. All the strength you have. Balance. Flexibility. Coming back centered. Straighten your spine. Open the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Hands heart centered. Finishing off with the abdominal press. Exhale. Inhale. Your belly comes forward. Fill your lungs. Exhale. Open your arms. Bring your belly closer to your smile. Spine. Three more times. Inhale. Empty your lungs as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Full breath. seated mountain pose. Breath in and breath out. Namaste. Hope you enjoyed your workout. I sure worked hard. Don't forget to leave some comments how you like the workout. Like and subscribe. Thank you. See you again.